values excellence, friendship, and respect. The one that resonates the most with me would be excellence. Um, it's never easy to choose just one, but I choose excellence because uh, for me it was always about challenging myself. Um, it was always about seeing how good I could be today. It wasn't about the competition. I always felt so excited when I could get just a little bit better. And I also think respect is very, very important. It's important to respect yourself, it's important to respect your competitors, and to compete in that spirit, and to enter the sports space in that spirit. When I think back to all my challenges across my ski career, there are so many, too many to list. But I can tell you, uh, it was never the same dealing with one challenge to the next. But in general, um, I usually just took a deep breath. I sometimes tried to get away from it, to just go do something else, to change my mindset, and then to come back and to think about why I wanted to be there, to think about the joy that I had in, in skiing and trying to overcome my challenge, think about the excitement of trying to get better. And then with that spirit, I would focus on the problem and try and find a solution. So for example, sometimes the pressure felt way too great to handle on any given day going into the 2010 Olympics. And so I would take a deep breath and I would just think about how I had the strength to overcome it and how this was an amazing opportunity and try and always find the positive in, in, a, in a tough challenge to move forward. When I think about the term mental fitness, um, I think about a lot of different things. I think about fitness in general. So if I want to be strong physically, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to lift weights, I'm going to run sprints, I'm going to do all these things. And so when I think about mental fitness compared to physical fitness, I think about a lot of the same things. If I'm going to get stronger and if I'm going to be mentally fit, it means I have to practice. So I have to do deliberate practice as well. So um, for me to become mentally fit, I, I did a lot of different things. Um, I worked with a sports psychologist. Um, I trained on a weekly basis. I would imagine myself in different scenarios, whether it was on the ski hill, whether it was in front of a media camera, um, even if it was at school about going in to, to write an exam, I would think about myself in this situation and I'd try and, and really create all those nervous feelings or maybe those doubts. And then I'd, do, I, I'd see myself overcoming those and shifting into how I wanted to act, how I wanted to feel calm, how I wanted to be positive and how I believed in myself. And so to imagine that in my head before I did it, I felt like I had already been there and I had already been successful and it gave me a lot more confidence in the actual moment. It is completely normal to feel nervous. Everybody feels nervous. And if they say they don't, they're probably lying. Um, so, and that's part of the excitement. I mean, for me, all those great moments of skiing down the mountain or all those great moments of accomplishment in school, they were always accompanied with feeling a little bit nervous before. It gave me that energy. So know that that's totally normal and don't stress about that. What I like to think about is I feel nervous, I accept it, and then I just put it to the side and I try and refocus on what the task is in front of me. What do I control? I control my thoughts, I control my emotions, and the rest of it's normal. And sometimes those will creep in in the middle of it, but you just go back to thinking about what you need to think about. If there's one lesson that I learned um, that allowed me to continue through and, and to live my Olympic dream, that would be really tough to be honest. Um, but I think the most important thing was to be playful, to have that joy. Of course you need hard work, of course you need support, of course you need determination. All those things are really important. But you have to have fun, you have to be willing to explore new things, you have to be willing to go out and find that joy in those really difficult moments as well as the really fun moments. And if you can keep that joy, then your motivation will stay and you'll be able to overcome really difficult challenges.